Good evening and welcome to Nerd in Post Game Live. Oh man, my, I'm still catching my breath over yelling at the TV and everything. The Irish win. I gotta create a new banner. 45 38 over the South Carolina Gamecocks. Just a crazy game. Uh, we would have liked it to be a little more relaxing at the end there. But that bad pick by TB really stressed me out. But we ended up driving down, scoring the game-winning touchdown. Defense got a stop. When that when that South Carolina guy had a chance of that ball, <laughs> whoa, I was scared. Yes, right, SEC, SEC. We conquered the SEC again. If we aren't playing Alabama, we usually – or Georgia, we wouldn't beat the SEC. But, oh, man. I was so scared when Buckner threw that pass. I'm like, and then I saw Mitchell Evans wide open, and I was like, ah, oh, we're okay. We're okay. My gosh. We are nine and four. Thank you. Our favorite uh, UC reaching Gumby. Now Gumby for real. We are nine and four, and we did win. I aged 10 years. I felt like I aged 30 years, man. Oh, man, that was a crazy game. But, so, first things first, Tyler Buckner, 18 for 33, 274 yards, three touchdowns, three interceptions. I mean, he you can see it in there. You can see it that he has what it takes to be a good quarterback. The decision-making is scary, man. Running for Ohio State or Georgia tomorrow? I, I honestly, I don't, I mean... I respect both of those teams, but I usually root against both of them. So, I don't know. I guess Ohio State for the upset, but I don't know. Neither. I would like, I don't know. I kind of wish, uh, I wish we were in it instead. Oh, my gosh. I'm still, my heart is still, uh, here we go. We got the background. I'm just getting the brand all set up. Very low. Is stream like, Yes. Yes, you put, you put it really well, Nerd Aim two one six four. I agree with you wholeheartedly. Very low lows and extremely high highs. There's so much raw talent in Tyler Buckner, and this is what made me so excited to see him be the quarterback of the Irish. But there is just uh, it's just so frustrating making him those boneheaded decisions with the football. But you know. We got the win. We won the game, and we're going to be nine and four instead of eight. Nine and four seems a lot better than eight and five, guys. Nine and four is a whole lot better than eight and five. So let's go back. Amen. Let's go Irish. What a crazy game! It was a crazy game, Ben. I think I aged for thirty years. Uncle Rico and Ralph are trolling the SEC. It is off to a good start. Thank you for the likes, everyone. SEC, SEC. We did play today, Brandon, and it was too close, but, you know, we did get the win. We did. We are the champions of the Palmetto Bowl. We did beat both Clemson and and South Carolina. I'm just so happy for the guys to win. Happy for the guys that came back for their last game. Obviously, I, I don't like too late to sweep doing her name for UCLA. Man, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, LBC. Thank you, Michigan Man Jason. I appreciate you guys coming in and congratulating me on the win. So let's get to the beginning. Let's start all the way at the beginning of the game. As uh, the defense coming out with Golden was, was really spotty. I mean, I felt like I felt like we weren't really ready. I felt like, it, to me, it looked like we just weren't ready. And it was frustrating at the beginning, seeing us come out that flat. We are one and one against the USC. It was on a good win. Yeah, they were. They were on a good win. I just, whew, man, I, that game was stressful. Let's get that brand color. There we go. We got the gold. The brand. We got Irish post game line or their name. Let's go Irish. We are one and one against the USC's this year, uh, as we did beat, I guess, as USC Junior as a. Uh, 
some people call it. So at the beginning, I just didn't like the way that our defense came out. They just drove the field down right down the field in like less than four minutes and they got their touchdown. And I was like, crap. But then we got good TV. We had good Tyler Buckner as he did. I can look at the yards here on ESPN. As yeah, they just drove right down the field on us. Spencer Rattler looks so good. Credit the Gamecocks for coming in hot. Credit the Gamecocks for coming in hot. We are also one and one against former OU quarterbacks. We are. As Rick said, uh, Gold is a thank you, Gumby. Appreciate the support. The SEC, they did think of me. It meant more. It meant they thought, okay, I'm like, all right, it doesn't mean as much for Notre Dame. This is just a bowl game for them. So we thought it just meant, they thought it meant more to them the first half. But then the Irish showed their, we showed our grit, showed their grit. And we ended up getting the win at the end. Mitchell Evans. I'm so excited. I don't know if he can be as good as Michael Mayer, but he already is filling that role rather nicely. Thank you, John. Thank you, bro. You see, it's getting pounded. Yeah, SEC is not looking so hot. They didn't look good last year, but I think they ended up to turn and I'm gonna like turn around to like three and four before the Mama and Georgia met. Thank you, Cheryl. I appreciate it. Big Ten's looking good. Big Ten's looking good. I'm sure the Trojans are happy about that. Southeastern Cupcakes SEC. Yeah. Oh, man. What was with Shane 1 and 4? Yeah, they are 1 and 4. What was up with Shane Bieber freaking out, man? Like, I'm a bit of a Shane Bieber fan, especially before the game. But I don't know, man. His antics, his raging. I'm like, calm down, man. Like, I. I there's getting math or refs, and then there's giving up field position for your team. I'm like, what were you doing, man? What were you doing? Defense looks gassed. That's what good offensive lines do. That's what Harry Houston offensive lines do. They did not look good at the beginning. And then... In the beginning, but then Harry Houston's offensive line warmed down. Joe Alt, my boy. Blake Fisher. Josh Lug. Zeke Carell. Uh, I don't know if I said Blake Fisher. Uh, Jared Passion got hurt. That was uh, scary, especially. I hope that doesn't hurt his draft stock. I don't believe it. Let's can't wait for the game. Now I'm just sorry about the SEC. One and four shows up the SEC. Yep, it's one and four for the SEC. Where's the SEC dog? Where's my boy SEC dog at? Yeah, I hope this means more. Big game tomorrow. I'm so high. You should be, man. You're the favorites in a playoff game. You should be hyped up. You see, you guys did. Yes, it does look like you guys have the better rush defense this year. But we'll see against Tulane if it holds up. Gave up 27 points. USC like gave up 45. Well, they were playing a more dynamic pass, or I'll give them that. But I definitely do think that USC, L, US, USC Southern Cal does have the better rush defense. Better defense this year. So congratulations to Alex Grinch for turning it around and putting up a good performance. Yep. I, I'm sure you guys are excited. That the first ND game not to be played on Peacock or NBC. Well, all of our away games and our bowl games are not on NBC. Well, some of our old bowl games were on NBC, I believe. Both of the games against Texas A&M in the 90s were on NBC. Yeah, we did have our starting quarterback today, but he also did throw three interceptions. <laughs> oh, man. It'll be interesting. I hate Notre Dame. I hate the SEC. I was going to win no matter what. It's a good game. Congrats to Notre Dame fans. Thank you, Mark. Can we stop since the SEC is the best thing since Sally Spread? Big Ten is killing it in bowl games. They are. They are. SEC is a joke. The Pac-12 got better this year. Please stop it now with this SEC fake hype. Well, I'll say this. It definitely looks like the Big Ten has a better middle than the SEC does right now. The middle of the Big Ten has been killing it. The Gophers got to win. The Badgers got to win. The Terps got to win. So the middles look good. But I really hope you guys can pull through with Purdue over LSU. That would be great, man. That would be great. Go Blue. Yeah, really exciting game. It was, Peter. That was a great game. 
I wish it didn't. I wish it didn't age me, but it probably did. The only team that's worse than the Big SEC is the Big Twelve. Yeah, the Big Twelve one and five. Although they are one and zero against the SEC. Their one win was against the SEC. Although Kansas lost, so they're one and they're both ones are against each other. So not a good luck for the Big Twelve in the SEC. Only negative is the NFL guys on both teams holding out. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but you know. At least they helped out the team and coach. They were there and they helped coach. I saw uh, Foskey a lot coaching, and I'm sure Michael Mayer was coaching up Nick Mitchell Evans. I am Mr. Fine. Uh, in some ways I did, in some ways I didn't. Uh, I think Drew's decision making is better than that. But Tyler Buckner is also very athletic, and he showed his athleticism during the game. Yeah. Looks like. <laughs> Mark, get out of here. I, I'm not in the mood for this conversation. Middle of the road Big Ten team. We At worst, we would be the fourth best Big Ten team this year. At worst. At worst. So it doesn't count as our own. I don't know what Connor's responding to there. Yeah, I would too, Mason. I would too. Buckner throws pick six. Yeah, that was ugly. Get out of here, Timmy. Yeah, I was pulling for the Jayhawks. Oh, although I do like Sam Pittman as a coach. So I might do that. Curious to see. Usually head coaches are more dangerous once they get their own personnel. Yeah, I'm excited, man. I'm excited to see once he gets his boys. You see, it's terrible. I'm just saying there's an illusion of the average team in the SEC. Yeah, they're not. That That is gone. That is gone, Mike. I agree. That is completely gone. Na, na, na. Yep. Said that. Whole season, you either show up or shut up. Yeah. When Purdue wins, SEC will have a fake excuse. Hey, John. Well, when you have seen you still come to the Big Ten. Yeah, that does make the Big Ten stronger. It's kind of getting SEC. That makes them dangerous next year. That makes them dangerous. John, don't let's. All right, Mike. Yeah, just one. Because of me, Sam's eight. Yeah, they would be 0 and 6. Mike Lovin is Michigan. Especially in Michigan. Don't tell anyone. Yeah, they can. So, I am so excited about Mitchell Evans catching the touchdown at the end. We got our Michael Mayer replacement. I'm not saying he's going to be good as Mayer, and he won't put up the stats because he, he actually might because he'll have three years to start. But, like, people are saying, oh, we're not going to have a tight end. We lost, you guys lost Michael Mayer. Yes, but hopefully they'll play sooner. Hopefully Ward Manuel and Jack Swarbrick get to work and get a deal with that going. The fake punt was great. They We both got fake punted in this game. Both teams did. And they were both resulted eventually in scores. I mean, South Carolina was a score eventually, but I love how why can't I think of our special teams coordinator? Brian Mason. Brian Mason's like, you know what? You can get you can do a fake punt, but we'll do a fake punt too, and it'll be a big play. And we were backed up way more. Like they could have kicked a field goal, I think. Well, it was borderline field goal range in theirs. And then we got it. And then ours was in like midfield. Theirs was like at borderline field goal range, go for it range. I would have liked to call a timeout there, so that didn't happen, but it was okay. We still won. And we got our own fake punt. Oh, we got a Facebook like, too. It says we got a Facebook like. I appreciate that. Joey Foster. West Virginia fan. Oh, my gosh. Can't wait from four of tomorrow. I bet you can't. This conference but not by a mile. I think that's about it. It was a good rebound from TB. He didn't drop his head. He stayed in it. He's like, you know what? I threw a terrible pick six, but we're not going to lose because of this. I'm going to make up for it and throw a touchdown pass. The pick six was ugly, but he came back, and 
he ended up leading a touchdown drive. 1993, okay. Joey Foster, my boy. Yeah, both teams did stole possession. Both teams scored. Yeah, Brian Mason wasn't scared. He wasn't scared. He's you know, you know what? We're gonna get the beamer. We're gonna beamer ball our, ourselves, and we're gonna score. Michigan is almost booked. We have Texas home and home. Arkansas away and home. In a few more years. Yeah, hopefully we get that done. Okay. Georgia wins. That's all. Yeah, that's all. The of course it is. They're SEC fans. Future is bright. Amen, Ben. Amen. I want to hear from Lou and Mark, man. Yeah, Rattler showed off. Uh, although I think we were Al Golden, although he did not have a good game plan at the beginning, he did adjust, and that did help us. Uh, I feel like we kind of figured Rattler out by the end of the game. So credit to Al Golden, although I didn't like what he did at the beginning. He ended up getting it turned around. Joey's been turning himself into his happy place at the end of the UCLA game. Oh, that I saw what happened. I didn't watch it live because I was watching my team play, but that was quite a collapse. I thought UCLA had it when I turned it back. We did fold. We did finish the season strong. That's the culture that we're seeing from Marcus Freeman. And to be fair, that culture did start under Kelly in the 2014 Music City Bowl, we were bad. We were seven and five, and then Kelly did get the guys up for that game. We got Texas in 2024. Yeah, they'll be good. <laughs> Joey, were you secretly rooting for Pitt, Joey? Were you? Were you, Joey? Yeah, we didn't fold after those losses. We did not fold after those losses. Because I felt like the 2016 team, although to get, I'm going to dig into Kelly a bit here. I mean, they didn't fold after the Texas loss, but they like didn't play with the same energy. And this team did. Oklahoma too. Lou's still alive. Lou's still alive. He he's definitely declined in health a bit. You can tell he's not the same guy that he was in 2014, which was when he retired from ESPN. But Lou is still doing YouTube videos. Look up the crowd line. He still does videos with Mark May. It's good stuff. Michigan, Texas, Oklahoma. Oh, that's fun for them. We cannot lose. We have Texas away and home. I want to play some SEC teams. I think everyone wants to. Remember Power 5. Yeah, 30, 32. UCLA, yeah, UCLA did look, make them look bad. Thanks, Joey. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, poor Joey. Pitt got lucky. I guess they didn't kick a field goal. Someone didn't kick a field goal. Pitt TV. We still needs to go, says my dad. Uh, yeah. He might go. I don't know. I don't know with Tommy. But thanks for the comment, dad. But yeah. I don't know, Tommy. Like, there's sometimes where I've been like completely Tommy out. And then I'm like, okay, he did some good stuff. But yeah, Tommy is, he's a character. Lou was cool. We love Lou Holtz. We do love Lou. Lou's slowing down a bit. Better than Lee Corso, for sure. Yeah, still better than Lee. Eat, eat explicit pit, says Joey. I'm sorry, Joey. I'm happy for Takis Pit, though. I did do a preview with Takis Pit on the Young Guns. And I'll try to try, I want to get him back in and talk about that game. Notre Dame most SEC and ACC. Yep, this year we do, Rick. This year we do. SEC, don't schedule UG. Thank you, Tiger Paw Craven. I appreciate that, man. And good luck to your Clemson Tigers tonight. I'll root, I want to, I want the SEC mystery to continue. So please win. Please win, Tiger Paw. I appreciate the comment. Lou, I think gotta be rooting for ND, but I don't know. Who knows who Lou's rooting for? <laughs> Pitt is a scrappy team. They still I need to watch that those full game highlights. I'm sure someone posted on YouTube. I need to see that game. Thank you, Mrs. P. The wonderful Mrs. Pete is here to congratulate me. Thank you, Mrs. Pete. Good luck to the Tigers tonight. 
John says hi, well, his dad. Joey, please like the video. Thank you, Joey. No one's scared of Bama. Not anymore. I mean, that they just look so undisciplined this year compared to other years. It's crazy. Austin P. No! No, Max Schools. No. I mean, I, I want to play all uh, Power 5 teams. If I don't know. I don't like the week schedule. When the ACC away for the community did not say a word about a week not conference schedule. There's no damn confirmation to the confirmation bias. I just don't like the cupcakes. But I understand what you're saying. Comment. Maybe. Lou did always have a well coached team. I agree, Rob. Lou and Mark May, they must have had a fun time on their pod leading up to this game. Champions of the ACC, indeed. We did win. We did beat both Clemson and North Carolina. So, in, in a way, we are champions of the ACC. I will do a backflip if K State beats them. That would be probably an even bigger upset than Boise over Oklahoma. Well, maybe that's a bad take, but it would be so crazy. But Deuce Vaughn can have a big game, man. If Deuce Vaughn is able to break free from Will Anderson, Clemson is going to win, and SEC will be 1-5. at five. I hope so. Pitt's D-line is deep. They always have a good D-line. Hey, Tim. Oh, for a Michigan blowout. The more I watch TCU, the more I think this game will be a blowout. Yeah, I don't know. I just hate playing a week non-conference. I don't know if it's just a pride thing or what. The Octave K State being oh, I don't. I, okay, all right, Jason. If you say so, man. See how those three defenders. I don't think we get that. Maybe, but. If we had Foskey and Mayer, would we have won with those guys? I think we would have. But I'm I'm a biased ND fan. You know how the outcome doesn't matter at all. How, Tim? Still got the up. We wouldn't be shocked. Charlie Weiss. Regular season is meaningless. That's, that's a little sad how the regular season is more meaningless. But it's not meaningless for the teams that are on the outside looking into the playoffs. But it is meaningless to like, it would have been me- like the Georgia Tech, the last two Georgia games would have been meaningless because they would have gotten in anyways. I think they would have gotten in even if they lost two games. They would have won the SEC. PC will be a wake up. Enjoy it. I hope it's a game at least, but I don't know. You seen Elephant? No. <laughs> Tim is confident in Bama winning. And Georgia winning. Coming to all Michigan State, I just want to play TCU last week. <laughs> oh, Joey talking trash. Like playing the SEC. You want to show the trolls up? I mean, I, I probably would in your point too. How's they going to get smacked? Tim can only can dream about a bit of loss. Yeah. I don't care about K-State, but I do hate Bama. So go K-State Wildcats. <laughs> Congrats, Notre Dame. I'm not going to lie. I expected a Buckner to throw their pick six. I was scared, Z. Nice. I was terrified at the time. Great game to watch. And you should enjoy the win. Fun bowl to watch. I bet it was. For me, it was stressful, man. For me, it was stressful, Gixer. I would have bet Pitt wasn't beating UCLA. Pitt was down 24 players, including a starting D-line. Dang, they are deep at D-line if they had everyone opt out. Wow, that's impressive. Michigan definitely has to do better in the first half. They're both second-half teams. So whoever starts off fast, maybe they won't be the winner at the end. Because there's Michigan and TCU are both so good in the second half. The Don 200. Regular season needs to be shortened. Only two come on conference games, 10 regular season games, 12 team playoff, or we need a mash unit on site at every college football game. Free MRIs and ACL. 
That pick six in the end zone. I was like, no, I was too. 100%. Thank you, Todd, for coming in. Your Gamecocks play your heart out, man. Your Gamecocks play their hearts out. Be proud to be a South Carolina Gamecock fan tonight. Because your team put everything into that game. And I think Shane Beamer has your team going in the right direction. I think you guys will be in a New Year's Six Bowl game sometime soon. Maybe that's a hot take. But I really like the direction that Shane Beamer is going in. Yeah, you guys do need to come out swinging. I... Uh, well, we have a tough... We have three tough games with Ohio State... USC and Clemson. I think we'll win at least. I'll go ten and two. I'll be safe and go ten and two. I'll be safe and go ten and two. But we could win. We could win two of those. But I'm gonna say ten and two. I think the Clemson games probably the not to. I don't know. I have the most confidence in beating Clemson just because of how we did this year. But I know K is going to be a lot better. But I also know if we have Sam Hartman, we have a chance of that game. The two toughest, and I think we have a chance to beat Ohio State because they have a lot of guys leaving. I know Aunt Marvin Harrison Jr. will probably be back, although USC fans think they're going to get him. So, yeah, I think I'm going to say ten and two. Hopefully, eleven and one. TCU three three five because of five four. Oh, that's bad. That is bad for TCU. SEC got to play nine conference games. Yeah, I think it's possible that K State beats Bama. Ooh, statement has a tendency to unplug for non playoff bowl games to concentrate on recruiting. Change of Brian Golding or oh, if that's true, those two guys are running practice. I don't like that if I'm a Bama fan at all. Ooh. But their talent should still pull through at the end. Let's get rid of the, okay. We have an, we have a BCS guy or a poll guy and not use Dexter. Second half, yeah. George can do on a neutral field, not in front of a hundred K. Well, it's not a neutral field, man. It's a home game for Georgia. Georgia is gonna be playing in front of a lot of their home pants in Atlanta. Elder, yeah, I said ten and two. Those are both at home, though. So I feel like we have a shot at winning those games. Over under at nine and a half. That's fair, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I'm biased. Twelve team play for score. I hope it doesn't. Kickster says nine and three. No, we aren't playing Marshall again. Ha <laughs> ha. Holy smokes. Yeah, that was a heck of a game, Joe. That was a heck of a football game. UTC being able to stop the run. Oh, I think it'll be a competition between Tyler Buckner and whoever we get at transfer. Hopefully it's Sam Hartman because he is really good. So I'm hoping we get him. But it could be someone else. Who knows? So, if we get Hartman, it's probably going to be Hartman over Buckner and Minchie. And uh, our freshman from New Jersey. Oh, I'm so scatterbrained tonight. I want to take like a quick look at the roster. I can't remember his name. I'm tired. And Jelly, Steve and Jelly. So those guys are probably all going to give it their all. But I think Hartman will get it if we get him. If it's another transfer quarterback, not our first choice, it could go back to Buckner. Pat Ortiz, you won't let USC Hartman here. Watching TCU in the mouth. Yeah. Oh, we did it. Oh, Joe, you're funny, man. You're funny. Okay. It was Kansas State Super Bowl. It's neutral, but yes, yeah, it is almost home. Penn State to get a lot of run yards. Overconfident fans in their chairs at home. Buckner. Oh, it's just a relationship tonight. It is, yeah. I said the home game. Cheryl, you're like 
It's 36 more formation. Okay, I don't know what that means. I know it is. Yeah, it technically is in a home game. Yeah, that's why I was so excited. I'm like, we finally get another running quarterback who can throw at ND. He was actually more of a... Th his throwing definitely looked better in his high school film. So, I'll tell you that. I'm smart. I'm smart. Oh, all right, let's take a look at this stat line again. So they get a touchdown to start. We get a three and out. And I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Terrible start. Terrible start to this game. And then... Oh, Joey. Yes, hit the like button on both Facebook and YouTube. We're trying to build up Facebook for Mark, so that's why I put this on Facebook, too. So if you can hit the like on both, that would be amazing. Have fun watching the Orange Bowl, guys. I'm, we're going to talk some Irish here for another half hour at least. And then I was like, oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. But there's such a huge fumble. So they he threw it, the pass complete to Brown, and then he fumbled it, and then Tariq Bracey got it. And I'm like, we're back in this. We are back in this game. We are back in this game. I was so hyped up, man. I was all right. And then it was like a 10-play, 50-yard drive. We, we, are, we were doing a nice mix of the run and the pass. That's when Mitchell Evans and Jane Thomas both got first downs. Logan Diggs ran well. The screen passes were well. well. And then Buck TB ran it for 15, and I was so fired up. Mm -hmm. Oh, I haven't been watching the Barstool Bowl, but yeah, I had Ohio in that one. I had Ohio in that one. I I think it will be, Connor. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty confident it will be. But I think DJ is a great fit for you guys. With the beeves. I do think he's a great fit with the beeves. All cool, but we put a lot of crap. <laughs> SEC, baby. And SEC has not been looking hot. SEC has not been looking so hot. I was so fired up. And then they get a touchdown drive. And. Uh, I'm just mad at the linebacker play at this point. I was mad at the linebacker play. Al Golden's a defensive coordinator and also a linebackers coach. Marcus Freeman did the same thing and did a good job with the linebackers this year. But I was just so underwhelmed with how the linebackers were this year. I felt like they were the reason for sure we lost the USC game. Also, the quarterback play could have been a little better. But, I mean, Drew Pound was dinking and dunking. It wasn't his fault. I think that game, I think that was what why Caleb Williams was able to kill us because the linebacker play was so bad. I can't see him. I think he loves South Bend, Peter. I don't think he's leaving to go to the SEC. I would be shocked if he went left for anywhere, but maybe an NFL job, although he never even played in the NFL. I know. He wouldn't go to the NFL. He loves developing. That's true, but the defense that he's playing tonight is not good, Connor. Tennessee does not have a great defense. I'm sure it's a little better than UNC's. But uh, somehow you're rooting for the Irish. Good job, guys. Oh, you're rooting against the SEC bias, Clay. A lot of our friends in the chat were. A lot of our friends in the chat also were rooting against the SEC bias. Trevor says, even it out. Yeah, it's evened it out a bit. That's a good point, Ralph. I think you'd do a better job than Billy Napier at Florida. I think, Margaret, I don't know why. I don't think he would ever go. I think he's doing a better job than Billy Napier, okay? And I think he also can make an argument he's doing better than Eli Drinkowitz at Missouri. 
for sure. But he is er it is early. It is early for Marcus Freeman. Unless you might be big. That would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. I haven't heard about that, Michigan Man Jason, but if he did retire, I'm sure Ty Guy would make a video right away about it. So, yeah. But, yeah. Hopefully our linebacker play. Yeah, this is actually my guest room at my house. But I should get a picture of Lou in my dresser at school at my usual spot. But I'm on winter break. So I am doing it here. If you will follow me. Oh, great idea, Joey. Great idea. If you follow the Voice of College Football on Facebook, then when YouTube fails to notify you of lives, your backup notification comes on Facebook. You are so smart for that, Joey. You are so smart for that. In my opinion, you have no clue about... I mean, with that talent, they should have more than six wins, and they should be more... I know they had a lot of outsides, but they should be more competitive with Oregon State and have more than six wins with the talent that's on that roster. And that, they're like the fifth most talented team in the SEC, and they went three and five. That's why I think he should. They should have done better. It just and it also with the coaching decisions, it just doesn't seem like he was do, knew what he was doing for me, at least. So yeah. He'll go up for the bear. He could. He could. But you could also see that Bama's not going in the best direction under him right now. But I heard they're getting Cliff Kingsbury at OC. That's a rumor that Ty Guy told me about. And I, and I uh, believe pretty much every Ty Guy rumor about Alabama. John, of course, going to his defense mechanism of... Uh, Talking try getting whenever that CC is doing bad, these SEC fans, a lot of the SEC fans, they just turn to Bama or Georgia to save them. Oh man, that's such a good decision. I, I do believe the Orange team will win the Orange Bowl, Jason. I do believe that. I think you're right on there. I do think you're right on there. John's a little, John, it's okay, John. John's a little salty about the SEC. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. But yeah, so and then the pick six, and I'm like, oh boy, this could get bad. This could get really bad. But then we get a field goal, and I'm like, okay, we need to stop. And then they get a field goal, and I'm like, I don't like that. We gotta score a touchdown. And then we did score a touchdown with Logan Diggs going 75 yards to the house, and I was fired up. I'm like, let's go. Let's go. And then they get a punt, and then we punt, and I'm like, darn it, I want to tie it. And then we get an interception, and then the half ends. And I'm like, okay. We played our worst. We did not play our worst half of football. We played bad halves against Stanford, Cal, and Marshall. So I'm like, okay. We played a terrible half. We're only down seven points. Irish fan 38 wants to see Angelia. <laughs> that is the. Uh, I just don't think Tommy's going to put him in. Even with. Not going to be able to blow out. Not this year. I don't know, Jason. Jordan looks really good. This is Andy's shirt. This is actually dad's shirt. My shirt's at school, but my dad was nice. And uh, let me borrow his shirt. Michigan is on Georgia's this year. Ooh. Michigan man Jason coming out swinging. Really believing that his Wolverines are just as good as Georgia. And they weren't last year. Well, we knew that. Yeah, we knew that. They, as soon as uh, the game started, it looked like Michigan was just happy to be there. And Georgia was like, we're going to win the Natty. And then they won. Congratulations to Georgia for that. <laughs> All right, we're going to talk about Notre Dame. You guys can keep talking trash in the chat. 
And then at the second half, we got three and out. And, um, and I was like, oh. And then they, they went three and out. And I'm like, okay, let's tie this game up. And then we tied it up. With some great running. This was one that we were really starting to lean on their D line. And I was getting and I was feeling good. I'm like, okay. And then they score. And I'm like, darn it. They score. Uh a deep pass that uh Xavier Leggett just ran right past Clarence Lewis for the touchdown. And then we throw a pick, and I'm like, oh gosh, we cannot let them score. And then they punt. And I'm like, okay, let's go. And then we punt. But we pinned them back. We did pin them back. And then they're forced to punt. And then the Brain Lindsay play. And I'm like, let's go Irish. We're not sure yet, but he's bringing in better talent than with uh, Kelly did. So we love him much better than Kelly as a person, but we aren't totally sure. I feel like I would like to see a coordinator change if things don't get better this year, next year. I do think we need a coordinator change with all the talent coming in to coach him up right. And if that coordinator change fails, then Marcus Fima will eventually have to go. But right now, I mean, 9-4, and four, not what we wanted to see in South Bend. Not what the Irish fans wanted to see. So, yeah, but I do think it's er too early to tell right now. Unfortunately, uh, obviously, if we would have went eleven and one or ten and two, I would say, yeah, we have the right coach. But we went nine and four. I mean, we didn't do terrible, but we didn't do what we wanted this year. So right now, it's still incomplete, Clay. But I, I hope we do. I really hope he, we can go ten and two or eleven and one next year, and then we'll know for sure. But if we go nine and three or eight and four again, I do think that we have to do make a coordinator change. And then the next year, if we don't see improvement, we'll eventually have to fire Marcus Freeman. But right now, yeah, right now it's still incomplete. But I, I still supporting him and want him to be our coach. But thank you for your question. Appreciate that. So then they so, Brian Lindsay gets the touchdown, and I'm like, okay, I think we got this game one. <laughs> then three and out, and then touchdown. The touchdown, the Logan Diggs 39-yard touchdown, and I'm like, all right, we won. Let's just get a stop, and we did get a stop. And then I'm like, all right, let's run it down the field and, and score. But then they get the pick six, and I was crushed. But I still had hope in our running game to be able to take us home, to take the lead, and we do. And then we get the turnover and downs, and we won. Man, this was a wild game, guys. This was a wild game. All right. It looks like the chat's just going to talk about Michigan and Georgia. So unless if there's any other questions, I do think we will end the stream. All right. You guys can t go talk about that in the chat. All right, Irish fans. Thanks, everyone, for coming on. This was a lot of fun. We have my live reaction of the Gator Bowl victory against South Carolina. It was a wild game. Of course, the final score was 45-38. to 38. I'm so happy we ended up a season 8-5 and five when it just been terrible. Thank you, Jason. But 9-4, and four, not what we wanted, not what Irish fans wanted at all. 9-4 and four is still disappointing. I am so happy we pulled this one off. And losing to the SEC would have sucked. Losing to the SEC would have been terrible and extremely disappointing. But we did win. You are in our game secretly. Thank you, Mark. So, I thank you, Mark. We're now playing against big teams. So, congrats to Andy and their fan base. Yes, we are very happy we pulled this one out. So, everybody, have a great rest of your holiday season. If I don't see you on a call-in show, and go Irish.
We be the game gox. Go Irish. It is an accomplishment. Thank you. Have a good night, everybody.